Good evening, VV Nation. Ron Wheeler here, Manager of Options Trading at VectorVest. And it's my pleasure to bring you tonight's special presentation, Top 4 Income Strategies for 2023. So first, let's define what is income. So the Oxford Dictionary definition of income is money received, and this is the important part, especially on a regular basis for work or through investments. So money received on a regular basis. And that's what we're looking for, for an income approach to our investments. We want to receive money, hopefully on a regular basis that we can depend on to pay for our bills and any other lifestyle needs that we have. Now, when we expand that a little bit further, what is income when it comes to trading? Well, I'm going to use my time-tested definition of this. I say an income trade is one where you can make money even if you are wrong on direction. So if you think that a stock or one of your investments will go up, obviously if you're long, you'll make money. But what happens if it doesn't go up? We still want to make sure that we can create an income from that investment. That's really the whole concept of income trading. Now, this is the example of this. Let's say you bought a thousand shares of this stock. It doesn't matter what the stock is. Maybe this is a mutual fund. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's a real estate investment. Everything has a value. And that value for you to make money must increase. That's the problem with regular investing and not income type investing. There's a place for regular investing. Don't get me wrong. It should be a big part of what you do. But you should also set aside income opportunities. Now, this is the same idea. And again, it could be a mutual fund, any of your investments, real estate, apartment buildings, a stock that you bought, anything. The idea of income trading is it doesn't matter if that investment goes up, down, sideways, there's still some sort of income coming in. Maybe your total value of the investment decreases, but it's still producing a revenue source for you. Yes, the underlying value may have gone down, but you're still creating income that you can take advantage of on a monthly, quarterly, yearly basis. So for this example here, you have a stock that's at 204. If it goes up, great, you're making money. If it goes sideways, that's okay. You're still making money. You're still drawing in an income because you have space to make money. And in this case, down to 190, this is where you have the room to continue making money on. Now, why is this important? Why is income important? Because without an income system, it's on you to create that income, whether it's your job, whether it's social security, some sort of an income source. And that really keeps us stuck. It can keep us stuck working in jobs we don't like. It can keep us stuck working even if we like our job, but we want to retire. If you're not creating income, you can find that you're depleting your savings, your nest egg, your trading account, especially nowadays with inflation. Inflation's out of control. It's harder to overcome that than it used to be. So let's discuss four ways that we can create income in trading. So the first thing that we can do is we can purchase stocks that pay dividends. And you're in luck because VectorVest has a great search tool for this. We have a great list of stocks that pay dividends. And this is by far the easiest approach to income trading. We can do covered calls. We purchase a stock and sell the right to that stock to someone else and create income from it. We can do cash secured puts. Cash secured puts, and we'll talk a little bit more in detail about this. This is how you can sell a put on a stock, giving somebody the promise that you will buy that stock at a lower price in the hope that the stock continues to go up and you just keep creating cash from those puts that we sell. And then we have option spread trading. Option spread trading is by far the easiest to do this with. It also requires the least amount of investment. And we'll talk about that some tonight as well. So let's dive into each of these income creating possibilities. So let's start with dividends. Now from Wikipedia, a dividend very simply defined is a distribution of profits by a corporation to its shareholders. When a corporation earns a profit or a surplus, it's able to pay a portion of the profit as a dividend to shareholders. Any amount not distributed is taken to be reinvested in the business. Now, all that aside, 
what are some really good advantages of dividends? Well, first and foremost, it truly is a passive income. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is own the stock. You don't have to worry about selling it, trending it, trading it, any of that stuff. As long as you're a shareholder, you will passively get paid an income from it. Now, VectorVest Searching can find great opportunities for you. We have a lot of watch lists. We have a lot of unit searches for this. We show safety, growth of the yield. We show VST, all kinds of great things that will find you the best dividend-based stocks. And it really, truly is the easiest form of trading income. Because again, it goes back to number one. All you have to do is own the stock. So let's take a look at just a few of the things that VectorVest can do to help us find these good dividend-based stocks. So we're at the homepage of VectorVest, and the first thing I'll show you is let's click on Viewers. Under the Viewers tab, we can go to our Watch List Viewer, and inside the Watch List Viewer, you can automatically see right off the top, Dividend Payers. If I click on Dividend Payers, I see a good list of drip stocks, 10 to 24 years, 25 years, five to nine years. So I'll just click on the 25 plus years and let's take a look at just a couple of things about dividends. Now inside of VectorVest, I'm gonna scroll over to the right and what you're gonna see in the column of the watch list, and I'm just gonna cover this briefly, the dividend safety. How safe is that dividend? We've got the dividend growth and then we've got the dividend yield as long as the dividend as well. So the dividend, this is 1.58, $1.58. The yield is 0.65 or 0.65% per year. Now the YSG is the yield safety and growth. So the higher that number is, the better. Now, another list that I like to use for dividends is actually under the overview watch lists. And it is the high VST, high YSG stocks. Now, this list is very nice because it combines value, safety, and timing of VectorVest, so good high VST stocks, and it combines them with those good dividend stocks, good dividend yield, good dividend safety, good dividend growth. And you can see just a few of them over here. Now, what you could also do inside the Unisearch, we can go into our Unisearch scans, and in our searches retirement, you'll find some also good ones blue chip dividend payers. We've got the vector plus vector 125. These are also good. VST plus YSG bottom fishers. High VST YSG stocks. We'll click on that guy and we'll just run a search for today. These are the top listing YSG and VST stocks right now. And if I scroll to the right, you can see our dividend yield, our dividend safety, our dividend growth, and then the combined YSG, and you see Cigna. So the nice thing about owning Cigna is simply that no matter what the stock does, the stock goes up, the stock goes down, you are going to get paid a dividend yearly on Cigna. And that yield right now is 1.46%. So it's not the greatest return, but what it is, it's truly passive investing. So let's take a look at the stock Cigna. Now, if we take a look at Cigna, what we can ultimately see here is we've got a pretty good stock. Now in 2022, let's go to a one year graph. In 2022, you essentially have a stock that outperformed the market by a long shot. So not only did your underlying asset increase, you were also paid a dividend on top of that. So let's take a look at some of the numbers solely on Cigna for 2022. So let's take a little bit closer look at Cigna. Let's go to Quick Test. Let me select Cigna and Quick Test the selected. All right. Now let's go back and let's do a test from January 1st of 2022 or January 3rd, the first trading day, and we'll take that to the last trading day of December. Okay, so over the course of the last year, Cigna actually had a 41% ROI. 
it's a good stock. It was a good stock in 2022. So the benefit of this is if you would have bought 100 shares of Cigna at $234.20 the beginning of the year, your $23,420 investment is now worth $33,134. However, that's only the start of it. You also would have been paid the dividend on Cigna. If we take a closer look, remember, our dividend payment was $4.48. So on top of what you had made, you also got paid $448 just for holding the stock for the entire year. You would have been paid in March, in June, in September, and then also December, $1.12 each quarter. And that gave you an additional 1.46% return. So this, again, truly passive investing. Now, there's some upsides to this. As you see with Cigna, Cigna was a fantastic upside. Well, there's also some downsides from dividend investing. The downside mainly is if the stock price decreases. That can really throw off your dividends. Now, you'll still get that passive income from dividends, but if the stock is down 10 or 12% every year, and you're only getting a dividend yield of 1% or 2%, you're still losing money on that underlying asset. Now, I'll turn this over to some of our experts on dividends, and let's do this. Let's take a look at our views, and I'm going to go into our special presentations. And in the special presentations, I'm going to type in dividends. And what you can very quickly see is, back on May 27th, Todd Schaefer did a great lecture on dividends. We also had Steve Chappell back in 2021, hunting for high dividend yields the right way. And also Jim Penna back in 2021, profiting from a dividend growth portfolio. So if the dividend looks like something you would take advantage of, then these are some really great ways to learn a little bit more about them. But let's continue going into our second income opportunity. So let's talk about the covered call. A covered call is a two-part transaction, right? It's the purchase of a stock and then the sale of a call option. Now that call option you sell gives the right of the option buyer to purchase the shares of stock from you for the option strike price that you sell. And I'll explain how that works here in just a second. Now, covered calls are a great investment opportunity for income because they use options to create income. I'll show you how that's done. You can also double dip with dividend payers. So you can collect income in two ways. You can collect income from the dividend because you're a stockholder and from selling a call against it. And then finally, it gives you a limited protection from a bearish stock move. So let's do this. Let's go back to VectorVest. And since we liked Cigna, Cigna was a good looking stock. It had a great looking uh, year in 2022. Let's take a look at Cigna. Now, I'm going to switch over to Options Pro. That's our Options Pro, our VectorVest options trading software. And let's take a look at what a risk graph is. So in this risk graph, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Cigna. All right. Now, instead of just looking at an option, I'm going to switch this risk graph up to make it a little bit easier to understand. Let's just go to long stock. So this is what would happen if we went out there and bought 100 shares of Cigna. Now, remember what can happen. Cigna can go up, and if it goes up, you make money. Cigna can go down. If it goes down, of course, you would lose money, right? Now, if I went out there today and bought 100 shares of Cigna at 308, well, number one, we already talked about the dividend yield. We're going to get paid about 1.4%. That was the dividend yield of Cigna. Now, what we could also do is we could sell an option. Now, we're buying this stock at $308, and I'll just use the current price. So, edit spread. Let's say we buy 100 shares at $308 and 6 cents. Okay? So, if the stock goes up to $315, we would be up about $700, plus we would get the 1.4% dividend. Now, what I can also do, I'm going to go out there and I am going to sell one call because one call is the obligation for 100 shares. I will go out to, let's say, February. 
And what I'm gonna do is pick a price that I'm comfortable that I think the stock could get to, but I really don't want the stock to get there to be fair. Now, I wanna make sure I'm creating enough income premium. So let's try a $320 option. Now, if I click OK, this is what the trade now looks like. So essentially what we're doing here is we're selling the right to buy the stock from me for $320. Now, I paid $308 for the stock. So if I have to turn around in February and give my stock to somebody else for $320, I'm okay. I made $12 a share roughly. So either way, I'm gonna make money. Now, the beautiful thing about this is, let's say the stock doesn't quite go up to there. Let's say it goes up to $317 by February. That $5 premium or $500, I get to keep that. Now, something else kind of nice happens here. This is the current price of Cigna. Over the next 28 days, if Cigna does absolutely nothing, I will walk away with about a $500 profit. Plus, if I hold it long enough, I'll get paid my dividends as well. So this gives me some limited protection. It allows me to make some money even if the stock goes against me. Now, take a look. If I just compare that with owning the stock, you can kind of see that let's say the stock goes down to $300 a share. If I just had the shares of stock, I would be down $826 in this trade. But that call that I sold takes my loss down to about $345. It gives me roughly $500 of premium to offset any losses. Now again, if this is a stock that you hold, you can do these covered calls on them. Even in a downward market, you can collect some premium as the stock is moving against you. But I would caution you, be careful. You don't want to just start selling premium on stocks because you want to hold the stock. Remember, sometimes you only get one, two, or three percent return, and the stock could be down 10 or 15 percent. This is something that's optimally done in a bullish market. Okay. But you can see how selling these calls on a monthly or a quarterly basis can also provide you income. And again, what I feel is the best part of a covered call is it allows you to create a situation where if the stock doesn't move in your direction, you can still walk away with some profits. Think about that. If the stock stays above a price of 303 for the next 28 days, you're still gonna make money regardless. That's the beauty about covered calls. And again, when you combine those with the dividends, it's even better. Now, kind of like I showed you with dividends, if you are interested in learning more about covered calls, we go back to our special presentation. I'll just type in, covered calls. And you can see that Jim Penna back on May 19, 2022 did a great presentation on covered calls. Also back in 2021 did a great presentation on the power of covered calls as well. So we have a lot of resources out there for you with those types of trades. Now let's talk about our next income opportunity and that's a cash secured put. Now, cash secured put involves the selling of a put against a stock that ultimately you would not mind owning. Now, when you sell a put, this is the obligation, the possible obligation of purchasing the stock at your strike price at the expiration of the option. So a couple of good things about cash secured puts. I always say using options to create income is a great way to do it. You're going to get your highest yield by using options to do this. This can ultimately lead to a double dip again with dividend payers and covered calls. We can sell puts on good VST and YSG stocks. We may not own them right away, but if we do get assigned to our stock, then we can do our covered calls against them. And then also we would get paid the dividend if we ultimately end up owning the stock. And then it allows us to purchase good stocks at potentially lowered prices. So let's take a look at this again. I'm going to switch back over to Options Pro and let's take a look at what a selling of a put involves. Now, I'm going to first take a look at a chart. So this is Cigna. Now, Cigna is kind of 
going up a little bit from that little retracement we had back in January. So what a cash secured put is, is essentially this. You're going to sell a put using cash in your account as the capital. Okay, so the brokers typically, and all brokers are different here, a broker typically wants you to put up about 25% of the stock price. So if I went out there and sold a $300 put on Cigna, they're going to want me to put up about 25% of you buying the stock at $300. Okay, so if I went out there and did this, I'm going to go back to my risk graph. Instead of buying a call, I'm going to go out there and I am going to sell. And in this case, I will just use a $300 put. Now, the benefits of doing this. Number one, take a look at the risk graph. Now, the thing I want you to see the most here, and I know that everybody doesn't understand how to read a risk graph, and that's fine. But I want you to take a look at this dashed line. This dashed line represents profits or losses based on what the stock does. So as you can see, the stock price at the bottom, if the stock goes up in price, what happens is the value of your put decreases. If I went out there and sold one put, $5.80 for $580, I would collect, as you see over on the right, $580. That puts my maximum profit on this trade at $580. Now I know that maximum risk is gonna scare people, 29,420, and that is a possibility if Cigna went to zero. This again is something you'd wanna do on a bullish or mildly bullish chart. Because remember, what you're doing here is yes, you're creating income, you're getting paid $580. And as long as in the next 28 days, as long as Cigna stays above $300, you will make $580. You can do this every month, every quarter. You can even do it weekly if you wanted to. Okay, And as long as the stock moves up by selling these puts, and as the stock goes up, those puts will decrease in value with the hope that they expire worthless. Have you ever bought a put on a stock and then the stock went up instead of down and your options expire worthless? Well, that's what you're actually hoping for here. Since you sold it, you want that option to expire worthless because that's how you make your money. Now, again, there's some benefits to this. Number one, you're going to make money if the stock stays bullish. If the stock starts moving down and on February 17th, we actually close lower than 300, you will have the obligation to buy the stock at $300 a share. Now, the beauty of this is, is you still get to keep that option premium. So what would happen in February if the stock finishes below $300, you would now own the stock for $294.20, the $300 strike price minus the premium that you collected. If that were to happen, then guess what? Cigna pays dividends, what is it, 1.4% per year, and you could start selling covered calls to protect you. Now, the biggest risk of this is what happens if Cigna makes a much more substantial move. What happens if it goes down to, let's say, $280? Well, you're still going to get put to that stock at $294. You're going to be losing about $14. Now, what a lot of people do with cash-secured puts is they will create kind of their line in the sand. If the stock goes down past a certain point, they would simply exit the put. Now, remember, with options... You can buy or sell options anytime you want. I could sell this option for $5.80 today, and then in two weeks, I can exit that trade, find somebody else to take that obligation. So keep that in mind. But cash-secured puts are a good way to create income just based on a rising stock price. And again, the cool thing is they can also be done with dividend payers. If you get put to the stock, you can start doing covered calls as well. And it does give you a better price. I have to buy the stock at 300, but I get a $5.85 discount because of the premium that I sold. Now, of the first three income strategies I talked about, there are four pitfalls of those strategies. Number one is the cost. So for the small investor, it's really going to be limited here because you're going to have to buy 100 shares of stock. You're either going to have to put up at least 25% of the stock purchase price as a uh, 
cash secured put trader, it really does limit you in what you can do based on capital. Falling stock price can also hurt you as well. So even with the dividends, maybe paying 2%, let's say, if the stock price falls 5%, you're still going to be stuck with that 3% loss. Declining earnings can also decrease the dividend yield. So we have to pay attention to that through the declining earnings phases of the market. And then finally, huge market corrections. Obviously, since you're paying for the stock, since you're depending on that stock price, if the market has a significant correction, then you are going to be left with depreciating assets. And yes, you can collect premium on the yield. You can collect premium on the call that you sell. However, you're still going to be stuck owning a stock that is trading for a lot less income than you are pulling in on a yearly basis. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is something near and dear to my heart, and that's the use of option spreads. Now, an option spread involves the simultaneously selling of a put if you're bullish, just like a cash secured put, or a call if you're bearish and the purchase of what we call an insurance option. Now, there's some great benefits to option spreads. Number one, they use only options to create income. You never have to own the stock. They're very low cost. So even someone just starting out with five or $6,000 can do these spreads. Since we're using only options, you will never be purchasing or short selling stock. And I think the best part of this is they can easily be used whether the market is rising or falling. So let's do this. Let's go back to Cigna and take a look at Cigna. We're selling a $300 put. This is a cash secured put. Now, what do we talk about? It's a great trade, right? Because if the market goes sideways, we can still make money. If the market goes up, we can still make money. The downside is $29,000 in maximum risk with the only potential to make about 600. That's very, that's very aggressive, I would say. Let's make this more conservative. Now, if we think a stock is going to move higher, what do we do? Well, we start off with the put. We can sell a put to create the situation. Now, to keep the trade low risk and low cost in the same transaction, I'm going to go out there and I am going to buy a protective or what I call an insurance put. Let's say at 290. Now, what this does, in the worst case scenario, let's say that the stock completely falls apart and you get put to the stock at $300 and the stock is trading at $200. That option that you bought gives you the right to sell the stock back at 290, limiting your risk to $10. Now, I've been trading option spreads for 15 years. I've never actually had to do that, by the way. I've never actually taken possession of a stock because of one of these spreads. It's not only extremely rare, it's never happened to me. Now, what you've done with this trade, you have the ability to make up to $245. And if the absolute worst thing in the world would happen, $755 in maximum risk. Now, take a look at this and see what would the stock have to do for you to take that type of risk. If the stock sells off, all the way down, follow that dash line with your eyes, down to about $260. The stock would have to drop all the way down to 260 for you to take that kind of a loss. Now, what I do, and I talked about this with the cash secured put, where you're going to put some sort of a protective stop in place. You don't want to take that kind of a loss. So what I do when I take a trade like this, I place a stop. Remember, when you're trading options, just like stock, you can get in and out whenever you want. What I would do is I would say, if this stock falls to $300 a share, I will exit the spread. Now, think about what that does. This allows me to make up to $245. And if I exit the trade, if the stock were to reach 300, take a look over here up to the right or to the upper left, pardon me, that means that I would lose about $148 on this trade. It's actually a very, very sound 
investment at that point. And the best part about this is, like a covered call, you can look at this graph and it kind of looks like a covered call almost, right? Very similar to a covered call. If I went out there and put up a risk graph for Cigna and I went to a covered call, you can see that those risk graphs are very, very similar. Now, what's the difference between the two? The max risk is $31,000. The max risk here is $755. Yes, you can make $930 over here and only $245 over here, but guess what? If I click on edit spread and I decide to do four contracts here, now look, I can also make about $960 and my risk is $3,000. Now remember, the stock would have to go to two sixty dollars for that. If this were to drop below $300 a share, I'm only going to lose about $600 on this trade. Okay. If you were to go to $300 over here, well, you'd be down about $506 but you still own the stock and you're subjected to price continuing to move down. Now, the beauty of this is that we can also do this in a declining situation. So let's take a look at a stock that's done very poorly in 2022, Tesla. Let's say that we think Tesla is gonna continue to decline. Now. If it declines, obviously selling a covered call against, I have to buy the shares with a declining asset. And yes, I'm going to get some back. Or if I sell a put, I still have to have the stock go up. So now what we're going to do, instead of selling a put, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to sell a call. Now, why would I sell a call option? Because when I sell a call option, as the stock decreases in price. You can see the stock price on the bottom of my graph. As the stock decreases in price, I have the opportunity to make money. And in this case, I would just choose a 140. But if you take a look, the max I can make is about 672. And my max risk theoretically is inf infinite because the stock could go to infinity, right? So we, of course, would need to do the simultaneous purchase of a call to offset that. And thus, I create the bear call spread. I have a $160 potential maximum profit. My risk is limited to 340, but take a look. For me to lose $340 on this trade, I'd have to go way beyond $210 a share. What I would do, kind of like I showed you on the put, I would simply exit the trade if Tesla rises above $140. And what would that do? That would give me a risk of only $53 on this trade. This beauty here is that you can do this in bullish and bearish markets. Now, I make this sort of option trading a vital and really my first type of trades that I do. So I want to show you the results of some of the trades that I made, and not some of them, all of the trades actually that I made using these spreads, these bull puts and bear calls. In 2022, from January to December, I placed 170 trades. That averages out to about 14 trades a month. Now, I made about $28,000. That would require roughly a $70,000 account size, so you can get an idea of the ROI on that account. Now, what you can also see is that, listen, I didn't make money every month. I had some drawdown in April, July, October, and November. So I had eight winning months and four losing months. And what you could also see under the strategy performance is last year, the majority of my positions, I actually kind of did some bearish trading. Look at that. Well, that makes sense, right? The market was down, what, 20% last year? So it's not really a surprise. It shouldn't be a surprise anyway. But I actually made 105 bearish positions, and that's where the majority of my profits actually occurred last year. 84% of my profits were from bearish positions. I had 64 bullish positions. Remember, when you sell a call, bearish. When you buy or sell a put, pardon me, it's bullish. So out of those 170 trades, I was very, very good win rate at 60% of my bearish positions and only about 53%. This is what we talk about and what we teach in the options paycheck experience. So if you are interested in learning how to do these option spreads, I've got a great opportunity for you. 
We are getting ready to launch our all new options paycheck experience. This is the most comprehensive program for generating consistent income using these types of option spreads. As you saw from my 2022 results, we are getting very good returns by doing these spreads in both bullish and bearish markets. After you go through this options paycheck experience, you're going to know exactly how calls and puts work. So if you've never traded options before, don't fear it. We will teach you what you need to know. You're going to have clear signals. When do you go bullish? When do you go bearish? When do you not trade? We're going to teach you how to identify the right stocks that are the best candidates for this. We're going to show you how to set up income trades that can give you a baseline 70% success rate. My success rate last year was terrible. It was 57%. However, I still made over 35% return. We're going to have a trade management game plan in place before you take the trade. You're going to know what your risk is, your reward is, how many contracts to trade. You're never going to be caught like a deer in the headlights with a trade that you don't know how to manage. You're going to be able to confidently enter and exit trades with your broker, and you will be able to implement a system that safely and consistently generates income. Now the course is divided into eight modules. Each of these modules gets you closer to the step of creating a consistent income stream with these option spreads. The first two modules are our option income foundation. In module one, the outcome is you're gonna basically learn what options are. You're gonna learn what terms you need to know, what to avoid, and you're gonna be hyper-focused on what's important to do these option spreads. Because in module two, we're gonna teach you the option spreads. We're gonna show you how to set up these powerful spreads that can create income. From here, it's all about when to trade. We're gonna teach you market direction. We're gonna tell you when you should be bullish, when you should be bearish, when you should be on the sidelines. And based on that in module four, we're gonna show you how to find the stocks. Not every good stock is a trade. We're gonna identify the best stocks that are moving in the direction of the market. And then the option selection. You know, you saw me choose options, the puts. How did I choose those? How do I know which ones to choose? We're gonna tell you exactly how to find the options to trade. That's gonna give you the most amount of profit potential, the least amount of risk, and you'll be able to set these spreads up correctly from day one. Then we're gonna talk about the setup of the trade. Exactly where to set your strikes. How to use that insurance like to make sure that you're maximizing your probability and profitability. Module seven, as I mentioned, no more deer in the headlight. We are going to make sure that you know before the play, trade is placed where to enter, how to exit for profits, loss, how to repair if you want to, to mitigate the losses on bad trades. We'll teach you portfolio management. How much risk should you have? How many contracts should you trade? You will know what to do no matter what the market throws at you. And then finally, if you've never placed an option spread before in module eight, we're gonna teach you using some brokers what to look for and how to place these spreads. So you'll be comfortable placing trades, whether it's your first time or your 500th time. Now, for those of you that are newer and for anybody really, we also include checklists. We have checklists that will take you through from step one all the way to the trade execution and the trade conclusion easy to follow mechanical step-by-step -step things that you can do. Now, I've been doing this course now for six years. I'm so confident in it, I offer a 100% money back guarantee. You can take the course. If you don't think that we've taught you a powerful option selling system and an option spread system, then you can get your money back. No questions asked. The only thing I ask though, is that you do have to do the course. So I guess it's not no questions asked, to be fair. I do want you to do the course. That means you have to watch the presentation. You don't have to watch it live or anything, but you do have to watch the presentation, okay? And historically, we have done over 3% per month. That's 36% a year. Now, I've been doing an S&P trade for the last really six and a half, seven years. And our S&P trade with just one trade per week over the course of the last six and a half years has averaged about 4.4% per month. Now, keep in mind, there's going to be times when you have some periods of where the market and where your trades aren't going to make money, but then they're going to be combined with periods of great success. So what you have to do is commit to doing a system like this because over the long haul, you will be profitable. Now, if you sign up, if you order before Monday, 
$9.95 is the special price. Go to www.optionspaycheck.com, get yourself registered, and you will be able to start the course immediately. The live course actually starts in February and we'll be there multiple times per week to help you master this content. Now, very quickly, just to make it a little bit more enticing, I've got some bonuses that I wanna talk about. Number one, we are gonna give you what's called the mastery package. The mastery package is week by week module mastery sessions. Each week I want you to learn two of the modules. Then we have two live courses that are gonna help you answer questions, take quizzes, do the assignments, anything you need to master that presentation. We'll have an end of the week Q&A to wrap it up. We have an online support community that you can dedicate yourself to, private dedicated email address access, and if you don't have access or if you're on a trial of VectorVest, we can extend your trial, or if you don't have it, we'll give you VectorVest and the Options Pro software for the two months. Again, if you don't have those currently. The second thing we're gonna do, and I think this is the best part, in March, once you learn the system in February, you are gonna be invited to our live trading sessions. I do these on Mondays with my clients. You're gonna be invited to them. You're gonna see me put real money at stake, implementing the option paycheck approach. We also are gonna hold two office hour sessions later in the week. That's 12 total sessions. Now listen, if you can't attend the live sessions, it's not a big deal. We record everything that we do and you can watch the recordings. So again, quick summary, you get the Options Paycheck Training Program, eight training modules, videos, checklists, cheat sheets, everything, the mo Module Mastery Bonus Package, and the Implementation Month. We wanna make sure that you know exactly what you're doing and you're with us to place these trades as you first start this journey. So again, if you order before Monday night, give you time to watch the special presentation, you can do it for our lowest price of $9.95. Get in there, get signed up. It's not too late to start a good option system. Now, I just wanna share with you some comments from our most recent attendees, the, the, those that attended the course just in the fall of 2022. Bruce said, I've been to many learning courses in a variety of settings of the years, and I have to say that Ron is one of the top presenters ever. David, the Options Paycheck Experience is by far the best course I've attended in my, all my years with VectorVest since 99. You've eliminated my fear of trading options. The manner in which you are presented the material is truly outstanding. Brian said, I highly recommend the course. It's something that can be implemented immediately, and we're going to help you with that. And then Ben, the attention I received for all of my email questions was above and beyond what I expected. A lot of my questions were demonstrated in class, which made my learning much, much easier. Now, before I go, I do wanna give you the dates and times of the class. The class officially starts on Tuesday, January 31st with a welcome session. We're gonna welcome you and show you where all the resources and materials are. Our mastery sessions, Throughout the month of February, the first starts on Wednesday the 1st and then Thursday the 2nd. Those are at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And then you see throughout the month of February, we have them also at 5. Now remember, those are all recorded, so if you can't view them, it's fine. We also have a live Q&A at noon on Fridays throughout the month of February. So three sessions a week where you will be invited to talk about the material and get any questions answered that you'd like. Now in the month of March, this is where it kicks off our live trade. And we wanna make sure you know how to implement this. So on Monday the 27th, we're gonna do our first live trading, SPX at 11 a.m. and credit spreads for stocks at 2 p.m. Then we're gonna have office hours, Tuesday night and on Friday afternoon. The cool thing about the Tuesday night office hours is I'll actually teach you how to look for trades for the next market day. So for those of you that can't be front of the market and work, I'll show you how to put in trades for the next day. Now, you have to excuse my limited PowerPoint skills sometimes, but there are also four additional, uh, three additional Monday classes throughout the month of March, okay? So if you are interested, again, go to VectorVest.com, order before Monday night, or I'm sorry, OptionsPaycheck.com, order before Monday night, and we will get that in there for $9.95. Thanks for watching tonight's presentation and hope to see you in February.